To solve this, let's square both sides of this equation because we are seeing square root sign, okay? So it's going to be square root of a plus square root of a minus 8 all squared is equal to 4 squared. Now when you have a plus b squared, this is equal to a squared plus 2ab, 2ab plus b squared, b squared, okay? So in this our case, our a is equal to root a while our b is square root of a minus 8. So we are going to expand this in this form. So that means that we are going to have a squared, that is root a squared, plus 2ab, 2 multiplied by root a, multiplied by root a minus 8, right? All right, now plus b squared, that is plus root a minus 8 squared. And this is equal to 16, because 4 squared is 16. All right, now remember that square, we always remove your square root sign. So here we have a plus, then when you have 2, remember that when you have root a multiplied by root b, according to the law of sword, that this is equal to square root of a multiplied by b. All right, so that simply means that we can rewrite this as what? 2 square root of a multiplied by a minus 8. Yes, then plus. Now, for this, remember that your square, we always remove your square root, and we have a minus 8 is equal to 16. So at this point, let's collect like terms. So we have a plus a, which will give us 2a, right? Now, minus 8, minus 8, plus 2 root a, a bracket a minus 8, is equal to what? 16. So we have 2a minus 8, plus 2 root now let's expand this. A times A will give us A squared. A times minus 8 is minus 8A. Is equal to 16. Now if this is the first time you are seeing us, please click on the subscription button, turn on your notification bell so that you don't miss our videos. We upload videos every day. Yes, we try to. <laughs> please always check on us to watch our new uploads. And give us a thumbs up if you actually enjoyed this video. Thank you very much. Now in case you didn't see what I wrote here, this is what we have there. That 2A minus 8 plus 2 root a squared. After we open this bracket, we have a squared minus 8a, right? Minus 8a. All right. Is equal to 16. Now, let me turn to this side. Okay. So, at this point, we have to transfer everything to this side. And let's leave this. That's this one that still have square root sign on one side. That is because if we do that, we can square both sides to remove this square root sign. Okay. So, we have two roots a squared minus 8a is equal to 16. Now, plus 2a will cross to become minus 2a, while minus 8 will cross to become plus 8. So we have two roots, a squared minus 8a is equal to 16 plus 8 will give us 24 minus 2a. Now, look at what we have. We have 2 here, and this 2 is a factor of 24, and also a factor of 2a. So let's divide through by 2 in order to simplify this equation. I'm sorry if I'm rushing, okay? But I don't want this video to be too long. All right, now let's divide through by 2. Divided by 2, divided by 2, and divided by 2. Now, until we divide this, we have square root of a squared minus 8a is equal to this we divide this to give us 12 and this we divide this and a we remain now we have a simpler equation now let's square both sides anytime you see square root sign to remove that square root sign square to remove it okay so we are going to square both sides in order to remove this square root sign so we have square root of a squared minus 8a squared okay is equal to 12 minus a squared so at this point, this square root, this square, we remove the square root sign on the left hand side, which is what we want to do. So we now have a squared minus 8a is equal to. Now, when you have a minus b squared, it's going to be a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Okay? So it's going to be 12 squared, which is our a squared, minus 2ab. That is 2 multiplied by a, which is 12, multiplied by b, which is a, right? Then plus b squared. That is plus a squared. All right. Now permit me to clean this side in order to continue the lesson. Have you given us a thumbs up yet? Because I am 100% sure that you are enjoying this video. So this is where we are now. We have a squared minus 8a is equal to, now 12 squared is 144, right? Then minus 2 times 12 is 24. So we have a plus a squared. So this is what we have. At this point, let us move anything that consigns A to the left 
hand side of this equation permit me to come this side now let's continue so we are going to transfer everything that concerns a that has a attached to e to the left hand side while we leave the constant on the right hand side so we have a squared minus 8a now minus 24a will cross to become plus 24a and plus a squared will cross to become minus a squared is equal to 144. now a squared minus a squared will give us zero right so what we now have is minus a plus 24a now 24a minus a we give us 16a so we have 16a is equal to 144. now to get the value of a yes i know what you're thinking don't go anywhere because we are here to prove that the answer is correct and that is the most interesting aspect of this video yes so stay tuned now we divide through by the coefficient of a which is 16 in order to get a to be equal to this we divide this to give us nine. All right, now let's us prove. I don't know why, but this is the most interesting aspect of my video. This question says square root of a plus square root of a minus 8 is equal to 4. Now, our a is 9, right? So we have square root of 9 plus square root of 9 minus 8 is equal to 4. Now, square root of 9 will give us 3 plus square root of 9 minus 8 is 1 is equal to 4. So we have 3 plus square root of 1 is 1. Yeah, is equal to 4. You can see that 4 is also equal to 4. So that means that the left-hand side of this equation is equal to the right-hand side of the equation, which shows that the answer is correct. Thank you so much for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.